Form follows function here at ICON. Everything we invent, design, and create has a reason why it exists. In the early days of ICON, when we were designing the Vulcan 2, we had so many challenges ahead of us in the additive construction world. With those challenges behind us now, we're able to really lean in and focus on a more advanced, more versatile system. For Phoenix, we wanted to create something that was faster, faster to set up, faster to transport, faster to move between build sites. We also wanted to create something that was bigger, physically bigger so we could actually encompass two-story homes. We wanted something that was free from architectural constraints that broke us out of rectangular build volumes. Not only does this unlock different kinds of architecture, but it also brings it at a much lower cost. So we started by deleting rails. Then we deleted a tower, and we had a tower and an X-beam. So eventually you get to what seems obvious, which is an articulated arm on a rotating base. The hardest part about the printer architecture was the accuracy. You have the, the movement, the inertia, the dynamics, combined with that all the natural elements like wind, uh, and it's a really big problem to solve. Creating dynamic stabilization for the printhead was probably the hardest engineering and control system problem we've ever worked on. What we once thought was impossible is now a prototype in the field printing its first full-scale structure. Welcome to the House of Phoenix. It's going to be almost 27 feet tall and extend well over 110 feet in length. We came up with a design that would push the boundaries of the print. From the height itself to the way the structure is sloping and cantilevering, and with that, one of the biggest challenges is the actual accuracy of the printer. We took all the learnings from Vulcan, but we said, what if we have a more flexible system that is inherently less accurate, and then we correct for it? So Icon's developed a tool head that can stabilize the motion and keep the tooltip exactly where we want it. Every aspect of the system is being developed to be, to a certain degree, autonomous. How can it be a robotic companion, a coworker, rather than a piece of equipment? This is the first thing that Phoenix has ever printed, and it's only going to get better from here.